What drew me to studying to Oxford is after being an undergraduate, I wanted an experience outside of my country. And then Oxford is outstanding in kind of the interface between geography, earth sciences, and technology. My, my greatest memories from Oxford are of the people. I had an extraordinary course in environmental change and management my first year, very international uh, communities. And then my second year, I had great research experiences crossing between geography and atmospheric oceanic and planetary physics. My research has transitioned over the years between studying geology and geography here on this planet to remote sensing and exploration of, of other planets beyond. So I've worked on Mars, asteroids, and our newest project, which is with Oxford, is about the moon. Our new project, Lunar Trailblazer, is a small satellite mission that was selected by NASA to fly to the moon to follow up on one of the most exciting discoveries of the last decade, which is that the moon is wet. Not wet in the sense of liquid water, but there is water ice in the poles, and there's H2O or OH or some sort of molecule in the sunlit side as well. Lunar Trailblazer wants to figure out why that water is there. So we're just in the first phases of the mission right now, and we've got 12 months to prove to NASA that we are technically ready to fly and that we are the mission that will answer the questions about the, the distribution of the moon's water and whether it varies with time and how much of it is there. It has two instruments, one of which is from NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab and the other is from the University of Oxford, which will build a multispectral thermal camera to map temperatures and the composition of the surface of the moon. I think space is truly the final frontier, and one of the things we've seen in the last decade is this explosion of countries and commercial companies who are interested in getting into this frontier. So I think what we're seeing now and in the excitement about the moon is partly that, that it is a frontier out there uh, for us to explore, perhaps to even live on one day. I think scientifically what's exciting though also is that we're seeing a revolution in that small satellites can now do big things, big science uh, in space. And so Lunar Trailblazer and the Lunar Thermal Mapper instrument from Oxford take advantage of that. I think my time at Oxford was important in a number of ways. Intellectually, it was just outstanding in terms of the degree programs I did here. But I think fundamentally, Oxford also um, kind of brought a sort of nerdy, bookish person a little out of her shell uh, in terms of being more interactive at dinners, teas, pub invitations. It was really formative for me in realizing the power of, of, of people and the importance of relationships in making projects happen. And that's one of the things we're really capitalizing on now with the Lunar Thermal Mapper instrument coming out of Oxford and the collaborations I built while I was a student here.